Well, the President tonight with the State of the Union comes to talk about the State of the Union really after his first year of service as President. And as he does that, these are the kinds of headlines that have been out there for uh, the last several days now. Soaring prices strain family budgets with approval plummeting, uh, plummeting uh, Biden tries to dodge blame. Gas prices poised to hit $4 per gallon, and that one may be an old headline by now. Experts, pandemic closures taking a toll on students. In that article, a significant group of students lost 12 months of educational advancement in the last 12 months. And every group of students lost some growth in educational advancement in the last 12 months, but some students lost 12 months in the last 12 months. And that's only a suggestion of the kinds of things the President really has to deal with as he thinks about the State of the Union. The State of the Union is not good. The President's uh, approval numbers begin to plunge after the disaster in Afghanistan. Uh, we have been working to reassemble friends and allies since then. Uh, as others have said today, nobody has done a better job of calling attention to the fact that the world is a dangerous place, and particularly a dangerous place without the leadership of the United States, uh, if bad things begin to happen.